Hey guys, it's Tilly and I haven't done this in a long time because I haven't been reading very much but I'm really getting into the mood again so let's just give it another shot. You guys can pick my TBR, I've done this before and it's worked really really well but as a small recap Basically what I'm going to do is show you the books that I have at the top of my TBR. I will then comment the titles individually down below and you can either like or dislike them to bump them further up or down on my list. So at the end of the month the top voted ones will be my next month's TBR and the lowest ones will either be at the bottom of the pile or not read at all. So let's get started. You guys can pick for me. I'm currently reading The Lies of Locke Lamora by Scott Lynch. I then have one workbook to read and the rest is up to you guys. First up we've got They Both Die at the End by Adam. Silvera. I actually haven't read anything by Adam Silvera yet. I do own a couple of his books, but this is his most recent one, and I actually really, really love the premises of this book. So in this book, Death calls these two young boys and basically tells them that they're going to die at the end of the day. And thankfully, there is an app called Last Friend where you can meet other people who are also going to die. And that is what these two boys do, and they meet up and they have their last big adventure, and then they both die at the end. Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine by Gail Honeyman. This book has basically just like taken over. It is a bestseller and it's continuously selling at my work and everyone is basically raving about it and so I picked it up and thought hey maybe I should give it a shot. So Eleanor Oliphant leads a simple life. She wears the same clothes to work every day, eats the same meal deal for lunch every day and buys the same two bottles of vodka to drink every weekend. I hate vodka, so I'm not sure how I feel about that. Eleanor Oliphant is happy. Nothing is missing from her carefully timetabled existence, except sometimes everything. Doesn't really give much away, but everyone absolutely loves it, so maybe I will. With all the craze of To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han, I thought that maybe I should finish reading the trilogy with the last book, Always and Forever, Lara Jean. I have read the first two, and I did really enjoy them, but you know what it's like when, like, you wait so long for the third book that when it finally comes out, you kind of, like, forget about the other books. Well, that's kind of what I've done, but I do really, really want to read this. City of Lies by Sam Hawke. I actually really have been wanting to read this for a long time, but the size of it puts me off as well, but it sounds like it's going to be really, really good. So this book, you have a young man, and he is basically the poison taster for the prince, who is the next to be heir on the throne, um, and when the king is killed, he now has to step up his game to not only protect the new heir, to the throne, but also to find out who did originally kill the king because he was killed with poison that no one has ever seen before. Plus I've been really digging fantasy at the moment so it could be something that I would want to read. The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. This one is like a ancient mythology based book following Achilles. Um, it sounds like it's going to be one that's really really good. I've heard Madeline Miller has fantastic writing skills. She also wrote Circe which is also my TBR, but I've heard a lot more better things about The Song of Achilles and then it's probably everyone's favourite compared to Cersei, although Cersei is still just as amazing apparently, but yeah, it sounds promising. Snow Falling by Jane Gloriana Villanueva. This is from um, Jane the, the Virgin, and it's just going to be like a romance novel, so I'm pretty keen to read that, I guess. And lastly, should I just reread The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak? I really want to read a book that I know I'm going to love, and of course, I love The Book Thief, so maybe I should just read that. So guys, please go down below into the comments and pick my TBR for me, and I really, really appreciate it. And um, oh yeah, I'll do a video telling you guys which ones I'm going to read, or if I have read them. Thank you guys for watching, thank you guys for voting, and hopefully you guys have a lovely bookish day, and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye. Surprise, surprise, I bought more books. Do you guys really expect anything different from me?